So where do dreams come from? Why there is a burning desire inside of us to follow a dream we were born with, even though we try to fight it, ignore it, and forget about it. It will get back to our path somehow. After seeing one of her close friends abused, uh, Lena said that's enough. She had a background in martial arts. And so she opened She Fighter, a self-defense studio for women. So far, she's helped about 10,000 women learn how to protect themselves. And now she's competing for funding to expand her mission across the Middle East. So thank you, Lena. Uh, we want to be your partner to help women live, you know, helping women to live with dignity and, and safety. Tonight's honorees are really proof of what's possible when inspiration meets determination. Take Lena Khalifa, a fighter from Amman who's giving women the strength to defend themselves from domestic violence and assault. If you want to make a social change, you have to be a fighter by nature because nobody's going to support you or clap for you because you're changing the cultural norms. And in order to change that, you need to stand strong at the beginning by yourself, then creating a support system. It wasn't an easy journey and it was like building any kind of business or any kind of new idea, introducing it not just to the culture, to the world, it's going to be a tough, committed job to do. If you cannot wake up one day and say, you know what, I'm bored, I'm sick of it, you know, I was asked to go to the, uh, to like, uh, the government many times and they give me headaches, you need to be a fighter. It doesn't matter what your gender is, because um, I found this a lot in, in women sometimes trying to put a lot of uh, you know, explanation why they face a lot of challenges. You're gonna face probably more challenges than men, but it's your path anyway. You're gonna face challenges. You're gonna grow out of these challenges and beyond these challenges, and you're gonna keep going until you reach your goal. But you have to be persistent. You have to be committed. You have to focus and you have to know who you are first. I was so passionate about Taekwondo. You see, Taekwondo and martial arts is all about discipline, commitment, and building your confidence through the journey of achieving the black belt. So you learn since you're a kid that life is chapters, levels. And to get to the next level, you have to be prepared for the next level. Are you prepared or you're gonna be stuck in this chapter? So it's the same as life. It's all about growing and growth. What are you gonna do in your next 10 years? Are you ready for another growth or you wanna stick to the same area or like time you're in? So I learned that since I was a kid, life is it's gonna throw tests at, at us of just how to deal with it. Even if you have your friends or people around you, they're not on the same mission as you are, they're not on the same path as you, as you go, and you have to understand this. If you are aiming to reach more than the stars and the universe, a lot of people would not want to join, and it is okay. A lot of people will stop continuing your journey because for them it's frightening. It doesn't represent who they are. So there's a lot of consequences in your dreams. Do you want to go with this dream? You have to understand a lot of people will stop going with you. Even like even whether it's the husband, right. whether it's a friend, whether it's a mother, a father. And usually we get hurt by people who are close to us because we expect them to stand by us and believe in us. But you have to understand that you are in this journey by yourself. You're gonna have your support coming somewhere in the globe, not just your country, mm -hmm. but you have to be with your own people that have the same and share the same values. Life is all about love there is it's it's the highest frequency in the universe and i don't see any dark side of life and everybody talks about negative things all the time but what i see is just pure love from people all over the world and and i always say that to people if you don't have love you cannot give give away love let's say if you don't if you have money can you, if you don't have money can you give money to others you don't have it, you cannot give it. So if you don't have love, you cannot see love, or you cannot receive love, or even send love. You have to be fully, like a, a, a whole bubble of love.